Calling opiate addiction an epidemic that is getting no better, Governor Shumlin announced new spending to try to relieve some of the pressure for those on the front lines. He said the number of Vermont kids now in state custody has soared 40 percent in two years, mostly because their parents' addiction put them in harm's way. The biggest victims of opiate addiction are children. The governor announcing a package that includes hiring 35 additional staff at the Department for Children and Families, most of them social workers to help relieve caseloads each now juggle hiring one more judge and adding resources for prosecutors and public defenders who handle the mess. What we see is a lot of times kids with unexplained bruises, unexplained burns, broken bones, and you're dealing with kids who can't talk sometimes. Cases like that take time and skill to prosecute, she said, but where will the new money come from? Out of a over $5 billion budget, Governors have to make choices. This is a choice that I think Vermonters will support us in. For one social worker who had publicly pleaded for help. I frankly am ecstatic <laughs> to hear that our voices were heard uh, and that taken seriously in terms of increasing our numbers so that um, it can start to make a, a difference in terms of workload and caseload. Not part of this announcement, how to improve security at all 12 DCF regional offices. Hit or miss now. The administration says it's still reviewing the options and determining how much it might cost. At the State House in Montpelier, Stuart Ledbetter, WPTZ News Channel 5. And today, Shumlin said real progress is unlikely until doctors stop dispensing powerful opiate painkillers like candy. Stu reports the governor will outline a plan to reduce prescription volumes later this month and make it a key theme of his final State of the State address in January.